Hello, welcome back to the vlog. Um, so I'm in Berwicy Coed in North Wales, um, Snowdonia. Um, so I'm basically going to take you around my favourite spots in Berwicy Coed and just on the outer rim of it. Um, so we started in the village. There's a little pack horse, well, like a bridge going over in the village, the main bridge. Um, and if you make your way to the car park by a outdoor shop, park up there and you can come underneath the bridge where I'm stood now. Um, because it's raining um, at the minute, just getting some shelter because this Canon M50 doesn't like the rain. So um, just getting some shelter. And I'm just going to show you the shot that I always take when I come to the village. going downstream there's a series of falls just behind me um, which I will put up on the screen now but the um, I prefer this shot with a rock in the middle of the river looking downstream with the cottages and shops either side so I'll put that shot on the screen now for you when the rain stops and I manage to get it I'll put that on the screen and then we'll head off down to the Fairy Glen, Fairy Falls, Penmatro Bridge uh, and some other little spots that I know down there Hello, so we are now at the Furry Glen, just outside Berwicy Coed. Um, I just walked following this path around. Um, I've got to go down probably the slippiest steps and rocks I've ever done in my life. But once we're there, it'll be well worth it. So we'll just follow this path and when we get there, I'll show you the compositions. right the slippy so we are at the furry glen in bet with Jeez. I'm knackered mate, those are some of the slippiest rocks you'll ever stand on um, but it's worth it because 
you end up with a view like that. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to set up the camera. I'm going to put the 80 to 200 lens on. Um, and we're going to zoom right in and try and get some detailed shots into the into the gorge. Um, and then I'm going to do what I love the most here and concentrate, zoom in on the water. And you'll see all the bubbles in the water in long exposure start to twirl around and make all these shapes. Um, so we'll get set up and then we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so got the shot set up in a vertical composition. I'm zoomed in with this rock in the foreground here, just at the bottom of frame. And then we're going right out into the uh, gorge. So we're zooming in like that on the gorge. So settings wise, um, I am at the full 80 mil, um, just because I want to catch this um, rock in the foreground, um, just to give it some interest really. So I am on, um, I'm on ISO 100, I'm at a second and I'm on F14, which I don't normally want to be at, um, but because there's a bit of rain today I'm trying not to use filters, um, I'm just using the polarizer, which is giving me a bit of a longer exposure. Um, so we're on a second with the polarizer. And I don't want to start dropping filters in because they're just too hard to keep clean when it rains. So, so the light keeps teasing us. Um, it's been quite dull and overcast today. It's one of the reasons why I came out, to be honest. Because um, a lot of the stuff we're shooting needs to be clouds in the sky and a bit overcast um, for some effect. So. But down at the Fairy Glen, you want the light to light up the end of the gorge. So every now and again, I'll just take this now. Every now and again, it keeps just lighting up the end of the gorge. And I keep missing it, to be fair, because I'm talking to you. But um, I'm just going to concentrate on that. shooting these little um, more intimate areas now um, so I'm still at f14 I'm at six seconds and I'm getting shots like this I'll put a selection on the screen now what I've captured for me Right, so when we get to Pen Macho, or just outside Pen Macho, you come to a bridge, and if you just take a look down, you've got the old Roman bridge. Well, people say it's a Roman bridge, but I'm not sure. It's a pack horse bridge anyway, going over the river, with the vines hanging off it. So we're going to photograph that in a minute. But first of all, we're going to head over to this side of the bridge and we're going to photograph the falls, the old falls, next to the abandoned mill. And if you can see that, there's an abandoned mill there and then there's some nice falls and some nice rocks there. So we're going to do that 
I'll set up the tripod and I'll show you what I'm looking at. So I'm in a bit of a tricky spot here next to the road. Um, the tripod's set up against the bridge. Um, it's the only way that I can get the shot because the amount of foliage that's around the front of the scene. I'm using the zoom lens, the 80-200, to to get right past the foliage and I'm zooming straight in to the falls, all the moss on the falls and the way that the water's carved away all the rock over the years, well over thousands of years. Um, it's incredible the way it looks. Um, I'll put it on screen and talk you through the composition. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. The camera's pointing straight down at the falls there. And it's zoomed into, what are we at? We're at 130 mil. And that's the composition we're getting from that. Right, so I'll take that shot now and I'll put the results on the screen for you. Then we're going to head down to Pemato Bridge onto the riverside there and we'll take a shot underneath the bridge. Like a bloody fairy tale scene. So down here at Penmacho Bridge, you've got this amazing pack horse bridge, which we saw from the uh, modern road bridge up there. I mean, look at the light there shining through. It's incredible, all the vines hanging off it. So we've got that to photograph, but then if we spin round, as well you've also got down there going down that's the type of shot i'm getting um it's kind of kind of that shot i'll put that on the screen now for you and then this is always a tree i photograph when i'm down here in their vertical composition, I just I just love her. How gnarly the tree is. Always looks good in, in photographs. So we're gonna concentrate now on the uh, main attraction which is the Pen Macho Bridge. So we're just gonna get our camera set up and wait for the light to happen really because as the sun hits the back over there where the falls, that's where the, around the corners where the falls are. And as the sun hits the wet rocks at the end there, it gives you that gorgeous glow on the, on the rocks and the moss. So we're gonna wait for that to happen, set up the camera, wait, have a drink and just chill. And when the light happens, I'll shoot some shots, shoot some shots and uh, stick them up on the screen for you. So that's um, three of my favourite Beresy Coed spots um, to take photographs. So um, there's plenty more down here. I mean, I've just literally scratched the surface. There's, there's so much more. Um, there's some little spots that I could have probably gone to today, but there's uh, a lot of felling going on in the woods. Um, so there was a lot of HGVs and things where I would normally park so I couldn't get to some other little spots to show you but I will be coming back here um, in the next couple of weeks to do Ogwin Valley and I'm going to try and put waders on and wait under the bridges to the waterfalls because um, there's a nice shot of the mill and the waterfalls down there but it's a waders job there's leeches in the river so um, so if you've liked the video please give it a like 
Um, if you've not subscribed already, please do. Um, helps the channel massively. And also, just leave some comments below of um, what spots you've been to in Berwick Covid and what I've missed. Um, anything you think I should know that I may not. Um, it'd be nice to, to have a heads up with some things. So, um, till next week. See you later.